ladies and gentlemen, allow me at this juncture as Uganda Microfinance Regulator Authority to declare the product launched in the microfinance uh, sector space. A bit more about Let's Go Insure. It's an embedded insurance product aimed at providing health care for Let's Go customers who borrow at least 550,000 shillings. How will it work? When you successfully apply for a loan at Letseho, they will charge you a small amount of money, about 50,000 shillings annually. Can you imagine? And for that, you then walk away with your cash to go and meet whatever business you want to do or whatever life event you want to deal with. But you will also walk away with insurance. And this insurance has two interesting benefits. Number one is a hospital cash benefit. The way we like to look at hospital cash is an income replacement tool. What that means is that during the tenure when you have that loan with Litseho, should you fall sick, Turaco will pay you some money, up to a million shillings. And God forbid, should you pass on your next of kin or your loved ones or your family members will pay them two million shillings. This is what we we like to call Mabugo in our communities where we come from. At Turaco, our mission is very simple. We would like to free people from the fear of financial shocks. So to ERA, our insurance regulatory authority, this partnership should help to drive awareness. There has been almost a single digit penetration of insurance for a very long time. And what Turaco is doing by partnering with financial institutions and other players, because Hamza has told me they have also tried to partner with people in the agricultural space. That way, when you onboard as many partners as possible, it entrenches insurance and raises awareness. And when awareness of insurance is deep rooted in our, in our financial services space, in our culture, the issue of risk goes away. Most of us have had the consistent conversation right from our government, even when they are giving us a sovereign rating. Uganda is A plus, all A or B minus or B plus, because of the risk that is associated with the country. So when insurance gets deep rooted, some of these ratings will start improving. Even the way we raise money as financial institutions will, if Moody is today rated a Seho A, I mean, I'll be able to attract money at a very cheap rate. And when I attract money at a very cheap rate, it means I pass on the benefit to the customer. So the continuous conversation of financial institutions are expensive in Uganda and insurance companies will also start abating. So it's a good way of looking out for partnerships, but the bigger multiplier effect of having managed a very good managed risk as a country, as financial institutions, as insurance companies, means that as a country, we start to be forward looking, we are able to be profiled as a country that has less risk and will attract very cheap capital and in turn pass it on to the communities that we lend to. Allow me highlight four directions that we should consider in further unlocking the potential of microinsurance for poverty alleviation. Firstly, we must address the challenge of insurance penetration. Currently, the insurance penetration is slightly under 1%, and it has been so for the past 10 years or so that I've been in the insurance sector, and even longer than that before I joined. To enhance penetration, we need to harness technology. We need to harness innovation, but we also need to foster partnerships, collaboration, so that we're able to reach the people who need it the most the mass market that we're talking about. Secondly, we need effective regulation. And the good thing is that we have two regulators uh, in, this, in this arrangement. And so we shall continue to work together to facilitate both the insurance companies in developing these products, but as well as facilitating the microfinance organizations. As Uganda Microfinance Regulator Authority, we want to thank Let's Say Uganda Limited for this innovative product. And again, we call upon Tolako to partner with 
more institutions to cover the lower bottom pyramid of the population. Ladies and gentlemen, health is an important determinant of economic development. A health population means higher productivity, thus higher income per head. This is because it serves as a catalyst to economic development. And this is in line with the government, uh, government social economic transformation strategies. We are all looking at quality of life for the household. And it is in line with our national development plan three. We thank you, let's go once again. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.